After a successful career spanning decades, Tony Randall, the beloved American actor, made waves again when he became a father later in life. His choice to embrace parenthood in his 70s, along with his marriage to much younger wife Heather Harlan, challenged societal norms and stirred conversations around modern families. This unexpected turn in the actor's life served as a testament to the unpredictability and beauty found in diverse experiences of love and commitment. Delve into the unique journey of this renowned artist who dared to challenge conventions and expanded his role from acclaimed actor to devoted dad. Discover how Randall's choices broaden definitions of fatherhood and reshape perceptions of love that transcends ages. Explore this captivating tale of unconventional bonds against the backdrop of Hollywood's ever-evolving landscape. Picture this classic narrative of love, reinvention, and dedication that has touched many lives and continues to inspire people today. Born Arthur Leonard Rosenberg on February 26, 1920, Tony Randall would go on to become a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, gaining fame for his role as Felix Unger in the popular television series The Odd Couple. The actor left an indelible mark on audiences with his comedic timing and distinctive voice. But Randall's passion for performance extended far beyond the small screen. He had a deep love for the theater, art, and opera, which he cultivated throughout his life. After achieving success in film and television, the actor turned his attention to supporting the arts and promoting cultural enrichment. In 1991, Randall founded the National Actors Theater, a nonprofit organization dedicated to presenting classic plays to modern audiences. Through this venture, the actor hoped to preserve the legacy of great dramatists while providing opportunities for emerging talent. Under his leadership, the theater produced numerous productions, including acclaimed revivals of Inherit the Wind and St. Joan. Despite his many accomplishments in front of the camera and on stage, Randall remained humble and devoted to his craft until the end. His contributions to the world of entertainment continue to resonate with fans today, serving as a testament to his enduring impact and lasting legacy. This classic actor will always be remembered for his unforgettable roles and his commitment to fostering the arts. Moreover, Randall's first marriage was to Florence Gibbs in 1942, and it lasted for an impressive 54 years until her death in 1992. He kept this relationship largely out of the public eye, demonstrating a strong preference for privacy when it came to his personal affairs. The actor valued his family life and found solace away from the spotlight. Throughout their long marriage, they shared many moments together, which remained largely unseen by the media. This approach allowed Randall to maintain a sense of normalcy and intimacy in his life, despite his fame. The enduring nature of their bond is a significant chapter in the actor's story, reflecting his commitment to those he loved. In 1995, actor Tony Randall made headlines when he tied the knot for the second time. At the age of 75, his bride, Heather Harlan, was just 25 at the time, creating quite a stir due to their significant 50-year age gap. This unexpected turn of events raised many eyebrows, prompting people to question the motivation behind their union. Despite the criticism, the couple remained steadfast in their love for each other, proving that age truly is just a number. Their relationship serves as a reminder that sometimes, love can bloom in even the most unlikely circumstances. Through it all, the two stood together, facing the challenges brought by their uncommon bond with grace and determination. In his later years, renowned actor Tony Randall experienced the joy of parenthood when his children, Julia and Jefferson, were born. At that time, he was already in his late 70s, making him one of the oldest first-time fathers in Hollywood. This unexpected turn of events surprised many people, leading to mixed reactions from the public. Despite the skepticism surrounding his ability to keep up with young kids due to his advanced age, the actor approached fatherhood with unbridled enthusiasm. He often spoke publicly about how much he loved being a dad again and cherished every moment spent with his two little ones. His wife Florence, who was significantly younger than him, also shared his excitement and supported him throughout their journey into parenthood. Although some questioned whether the actor had enough energy to raise two young children so late in life, others admired his dedication to family and commitment to playing an active role in his kids' lives. As an accomplished stage and screen performer, Tony Randall had enjoyed a successful career spanning several decades, earning critical acclaim for his work in classics like Pillow Talk and The Odd Couple. However, becoming a father again brought new meaning to his personal life during what could have been a quiet retirement period. As a testament to his resilience and love for his family, the actor found ways to balance his professional commitments with raising his children. 
Despite the occasional challenges posed by his age, he remained committed to being present in his kids' lives and providing them with a nurturing environment filled with warmth, affection, and learning opportunities. Through it all, Tony Randall proved that age need not be a barrier to experiencing the joys of parenthood. With boundless enthusiasm and determination, he embraced his role as a father and created lasting memories with his children, a remarkable achievement worthy of admiration and respect. Indeed, his story serves as an inspiration for anyone considering starting a family later in life. Furthermore, Heather Harlan had a background in broadcasting and media before marrying this classic and stepping away from her career to focus on family. After the actor's passing, her life took on a new path involving the preservation of his legacy. She became actively engaged in philanthropy, dedicating her time to causes that reflected their shared values. Harlan's efforts went beyond mere remembrance as she sought to continue the kindness and generosity that characterized their life together. Her commitment to these projects showcased her deep respect for the actor and her desire to ensure that his spirit would live on through good deeds and meaningful contributions to the community. As she navigated this new chapter alone, her focus remained clear honoring the memories they created and championing the values they both held dear. Tony Randall's life was far from typical, even for a Hollywood star. After finding success as an actor, he made some uncommon decisions that set him apart from many of his peers. At the age when most people start thinking about retirement, Tony Randall decided to embrace parenthood. This choice, along with others he made throughout his life, has left a lasting impact and remains a significant aspect of his legacy. The actor married late in life, tying the knot when he was nearly 75 years old. His wife, Heather Harlan, was more than half a century younger than him. Despite their considerable age difference, they shared a deep bond and went on to have two children together. Their union defied traditional norms and sparked much debate, but it also symbolized a powerful message about love and commitment. By becoming a father later in life, Randall challenged societal expectations surrounding aging and family dynamics. He showed that it's never too late to find happiness and build a loving home. Today, his experience continues to inspire discussions around relationships, age, and what it means to be a parent. As we reflect on Tony Randall's life, it becomes clear that his story transcends beyond just acting achievements. While he excelled in various roles across films and TV shows, his true legacy lies in his courage to make unorthodox choices. By doing so, he encouraged others to question conventions and live their lives authentically. Even now, decades after his passing, the ripple effects of Tony Randall's influence can still be felt attendant through his unique journey. He demonstrated that love knows no boundaries and that one needn't conform to society's timeline for personal to society's timeline for personal fulfillment. So while his fans may continue cherishing his work in movies and television, it is equally essential to remember the man behind the screen, someone who dared to challenge norms and lived life on his own terms. Tony Randall, known for his work in films and television, leaves behind a public legacy that includes many memorable roles. However, it's his personal life, where he truly demonstrated his commitments and values. Despite facing controversy throughout his career, Randall's devotion to his second wife, Heather Harlan, remained unshaken. They married in 1995 when he was 75, and she 24, a significant age gap that raised eyebrows but did little to deter their relationship. The couple had two children together, and by all accounts, their marriage was characterized by love and harmony. When Randall passed away in 2004, leaving an estate estimated at over one million, he willed everything to Heather. This decision underscores the depth of his affection and respect towards her and their family. Throughout his life, the actor may have stirred up debates through various means, including adopting a child later in life amidst skepticism. But these distractions pale compared to the genuine love story between him and Heather. His last wish stands testament to how deeply committed he was to them. In the quieter moments of reflection upon his professional achievements, one cannot overlook the profound impact made by his personal decisions and relationships. In his later years, Tony Randall remained dedicated to both his profession and philanthropic endeavors. The actor, best known for his roles in television shows like The Odd Couple and films such as Pillow Talk, continued working tirelessly despite reaching an advanced age. His unwavering passion for his craft was evident even in his golden years, as he embraced every opportunity to contribute to the industry that had brought him so much success. Aside from his career, Randall also focused on giving back to society through various charitable initiatives. 
One notable cause close to his heart was promoting the arts, which led him to establish the National Actors Theater in New York City. This nonprofit organization aimed to bring high quality theatrical productions to broader audiences, while providing opportunities for emerging artists to hone their skills. Tragically, on May 17, 2004, Tony Randall passed away at the age of 84. Yet, even in his departure, he left behind a lasting legacy of commitment to his family and chosen field. Throughout his life, the actor demonstrated that one can remain active and engaged in their passions regardless of age, inspiring generations of performers and art enthusiasts alike. His memory continues to resonate within the annals of Hollywood history, serving as a testament to the power of perseverance and dedication. While no longer physically present, his work lives on, continuing to captivate audiences worldwide, proof that this classic talent has indeed etched an indelible mark in the landscape of American entertainment. In the vast landscape of Hollywood, Tony Randall stood out as a talented actor who left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born on February 26, 1920, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, he began his career on stage before transitioning to screens big and small. Throughout his six-decade-long career, Tony Randall captivated audiences with his versatility and charm. He became a household name for his role as Felix Unger in the hit TV show The Odd Couple, which earned him an Emmy Award in 1975. But did you know that he was also nominated for three other Emmys and two Golden Globes? Offscreen, Tony Randall used his platform to give back to the community. In 1991, he established the National Actors Theater in New York City to promote classic American theater and provide opportunities for aspiring actors. His dedication to the arts resonates deeply within the industry even today. As we delve deeper into Tony Randall's life and work, it becomes clear that his impact transcends generations, from his early days on Broadway to his memorable performances on screen. Join us as we explore the fascinating journey of this iconic figure in American entertainment. Born on February 26, 1920, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Anthony Rannard Leonard Fine was known later by his stage name, Tony Randall. His father, Julius Leonard Fine, worked in the mortgage business while his mother, Mabel Katz Finestone, was a musician. The family moved often due to Julius's work, leading young Tony to live in various cities like Los Angeles, Detroit, and New York before settling down in Chicago. Exposed to acting through his mother's musical interests, Tony developed a passion for theater during high school. He began taking drama classes and appeared in numerous school productions. After graduation, he attended Northwestern University, where he continued studying drama under Alvina Krause, a renowned acting coach. Krause became one of Tony's earliest influencers, encouraging him to pursue a career in the performing arts. Following his time at Northwestern, Tony joined the Army Air Forces during World War II, serving as a radio broadcaster. Upon returning home, he decided to move to New York City to further his acting aspirations. There, he met influential people like actress Uta Hagen, whom he considered another significant mentor. Under her guidance, Tony honed his skills and learned about method acting techniques, laying the groundwork for his successful future on both stage and screen. Ever since Tony Randall was a young boy, he found joy in making people laugh. He loved performing magic tricks for his friends and family, always eager to entertain. But it wasn't until he saw his first play in high school that he fell in love with acting. The curtain rose, and he was transported to another world, one filled with excitement, emotion, and endless possibilities. From that day on, he knew he wanted to become an actor. Driven by his newfound passion, Tony pursued drama throughout college. However, his parents had other plans. They urged him to find a more stable career path. Ignoring their concerns, Tony moved to New York City after graduation to chase his dream. He struggled at first, working odd jobs while auditioning for roles. Yet, he never lost sight of his goal. One fateful night, everything changed. Everything changed. While waiting tables, Tony met a famous Broadway director who offered him a small part in a play. Although the role was minor, it ignited a spark within Tony. His performance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, launching his successful career. And so, through perseverance and sheer determination, Tony Randall transformed his childhood fascination into a lifelong passion, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Born on February 26, 1920, Anthony Ranner Chapman, known as Tony Randall, was a man of great determination. Financial struggles were prevalent during his early years. To make ends meet, he worked various jobs, including working as a page at NBC Radio. His passion for acting never wavered despite these hardships. 
Rejection was also part of his journey. In the beginning, many casting directors saw him merely as just another pretty face, dismissing his talent and potential. However, Tony's unwavering belief in himself fueled his desire to succeed further. Instead of giving up, he honed his craft by studying drama at New York's neighborhood playhouse under Sanford Meisner. During World War II, Tony served in the U.S. Army, where he continued to pursue his love for theater through military entertainment programs. After the war, he returned to New York City and struggled once again to find work due to lingering skepticism about his abilities. But Tony persevered, taking small roles when available, and even performing free shows until finally earning recognition for his talents. One significant breakthrough came when he landed the role of Felix Unger in the television adaptation of Neil Simon's play The Odd Couple. This iconic performance showcased both his comedic timing and dramatic range, solidifying his place among Hollywood elites. Despite numerous obstacles, Tony Randall proved them wrong and left behind an indelible mark in film and television history. Tony Randall's breakthrough moments began in earnest with his role in the successful television comedy The Phil Silvers Show during the mid-1950s. Playing the character of Corporal Peter Perry, he showcased his comedic timing and acting skills alongside veteran performer Phil Silvers. This exposure led to greater opportunities in both film and TV. A few years later, another significant milestone came when Randall starred in the Broadway production of Noel Coward's Present Laughter. His performance earned him rave reviews from critics and audiences alike, solidifying his status as a leading man in theater. Critics praised his impeccable delivery and knack for physical comedy, which helped propel the play to become one of Coward's most popular works. Throughout the late 1960s and into the early 70s, Randall continued to make strides on screen with memorable roles in films like Louvre and The Owl and The Pussycat. However, it wasn't until he took on the titular role in the TV series The Tony Randall Show, playing a judge trying to balance his professional life with raising his teenage daughter, that fans truly embraced him as a small screen icon. Peers noted how seamlessly Randall slipped into dramatic and comedic performances, making him stand out amongst other actors. One notable collaboration was with actress Jack Klugman on the hit sitcom The Odd Couple, where Randall played Felix Unger, a fastidious photographer opposite Klugman's sloppy sports writer Oscar Madison. Though initially hesitant about taking up the part due to its similarity to his previous roles, Randall eventually agreed and left an indelible mark on viewers worldwide, earning numerous accolades along the way. Their chemistry became legendary, and even decades after the show ended, they remained close friends who spoke highly of each other's talents. As time went by, Tony Randall never lost sight of his passion for the arts. He founded the National Actors Theatre in New York City in 1991, aiming to bring classic plays back to the stage while nurturing young talent. Through this venture, Randall cemented himself as more than just an actor. He had become a driving force behind preserving American theater heritage. These pivotal moments demonstrate how Tony Randall consistently pushed boundaries throughout his illustrious career, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of artists today. Whether through captivating performances on stage or heartfelt appearances on screen, Randall proved himself to be a versatile and timeless entertainer. To this day, his contributions resonate deeply within both the realms of Hollywood and Broadway. Tony Randall, born April 26, 1920, was known for his distinct artistic vision and process. He approached each role with great preparation and attention to detail. Randall once said, I'd rather be prepared and have nothing to do than have something to do and not be prepared. This commitment to readiness set him apart from many of his peers. His unique style often involved finding the humor in situations while maintaining respect for the character he played. In an interview, he mentioned, there is always some truth behind the comedy, highlighting his ability to infuse depth and meaning into comedic roles. Drawing upon his own life experiences greatly influenced Randall's work. After serving in World War II, he found solace in acting, which led to a decades-long career on stage, film, and television. His passion for arts education later inspired him to establish the National Actors Theatre, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Worldview also permeated through Randall's artistry. A dedicated liberal activist, he used his platform to advocate for social change and champion various causes throughout his lifetime. By incorporating these beliefs into his performances, audiences gained insight into his values and convictions. Throughout his prolific career, Tony Randall captivated generations of viewers with his memorable portrayals and distinctive approach to storytelling. 
Even today, his legacy continues to resonate among artists and fans alike. And so, we can appreciate the indelible mark left by this remarkable actor who brought laughter, thoughtfulness, and grace to our lives. Tony Randall, born Joseph Goulden on February 26, 1920, was a prominent figure in the acting industry. His career spanned over six decades, gracing both stage and screen. Known for his distinct voice and comedic timing, he left an indelible mark on American television. Randall's most memorable role came in the form of Felix Unger in The Odd Couple, a sitcom that ran from 1970 to 1975. Here, he embodied the fastidious, hypochondriac character with precision, creating a stark contrast against Jack Klugman's sloppy Oscar Madison. This odd pairing resonated with audiences, leading to high ratings and critical acclaim. Industry expert Tom Bogdanovich notes, Tony Randall brought something unique to every role he played, but it was his portrayal of Felix Unger that truly showcased his exceptional talent. Beyond The Odd Couple, Randall continued to influence comedy styles through various roles in film and theater. He established the National Actors Theater in 1991, further solidifying his commitment to the arts and providing opportunities for aspiring actors. Reflecting on Randall's impact, actress Alyssa Milano shared, working with Mr. Randall during my early years taught me so much about professionalism and dedication he had a profound effect on my career. Throughout his life, Tony Randall demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to different genres while maintaining his signature style. Today, his contributions continue to inspire new generations of performers, shaping the landscape of modern entertainment. Transitioning away from his successful acting career, Tony Randall dedicated much of his time and resources to various philanthropic endeavors. Born on February 26, 1920, Randall had always been passionate about arts education and preservation. In fact, he established the National Actors Theatre in 1983, which aimed to bring high-quality theatrical productions to a wider audience, while also providing opportunities for emerging actors. Throughout his life, Randall was heavily involved in several charitable organizations, including UNICEF and the Arts Education Network. He firmly believed that everyone deserved access to quality arts programs, regardless of their background or financial situation. His commitment to these causes stemmed from his belief that exposure to the arts could enrich people's lives and foster greater understanding between different cultures. Moreover, Randall used his platform to advocate for social issues close to his heart, such as affordable housing and health care. As a prominent figure in Hollywood, he recognized the power of celebrity endorsement and leveraged it to raise awareness for these critical matters. By lending his voice to these causes, Randall hoped to inspire positive change, both within his community and beyond. One particularly notable example of Randall's generosity came after the sudden death of his wife, Florence Levy, in 1992. Instead of accepting flowers or gifts at her funeral, the couple requested that donations be made to the American Medical Association. This selfless act demonstrated Randall's deep compassion for others and his unwavering dedication to making a difference in the world. Ultimately, Tony Randall's legacy extends far beyond his impressive body of work as an actor. Through his numerous philanthropic efforts and advocacy for vital social issues, he left behind a lasting impact on countless individuals and communities across the globe. Even today, his passion for the arts and commitment to giving back continue to resonate with those who knew him best and admired him most. Let's dive into the life of Tony Randall a remarkable actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. Born on February 26, 1920, Randall started his career in the 1940s and quickly became a household name. He was best known for his role as Felix Unger in The Odd Couple, a sitcom that aired from 1970 to 1975. His comedic timing, wit, and charm captivated audiences and earned him several Emmy nominations. Throughout his career, Randall never limited himself to one genre or medium, Instead, he constantly explored new opportunities and took risks. In addition to acting, he directed plays, produced films, and even founded the National Actors Theatre in New York City. This versatility allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. For those looking to follow in Randall's footsteps, here are some pieces of advice. Firstly, always be willing to learn and grow. Even after achieving success, Randall continued to take classes and hone his craft. Aspiring actors can benefit from taking workshops, attending seminars, and seeking out mentorship opportunities. Secondly, embrace diversity and explore different genres and media. Don't limit yourself to just one area of expertise. 
By branching out and trying new things, you can expand your skill set and increase your value as a professional. Lastly, stay true to yourself and your values. Throughout his career, Randall remained committed to promoting arts education and supporting various charitable causes. By staying grounded and focused on what matters most, you can build a fulfilling and successful career while making a positive impact on others. Born on February 26, 1920, Tony Randall embarked on a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. He started his career on stage but soon found success in films and television. With over six decades of experience, he left an indelible mark through his innovative performances and dedication. Throughout his illustrious career, Randall captivated audiences with his unique charm and versatility. From playing charming rogues to sophisticated intellectuals, he demonstrated his prowess across various genres, comedies, dramas, and even operas. His work resonates deeply, transcending time and remaining relevant today. One of his most iconic roles was as Felix Unger in The Odd Couple, where he showcased both humor and depth, delivering lines with impeccable timing and nuanced emotion. This character became synonymous with Randall's name, further solidifying his status as a beloved figure in American pop culture. Despite facing numerous challenges along the way, including being labeled as too intellectual for Hollywood early in his career, Randall never wavered from pursuing his passion. In fact, these obstacles seemed to fuel his determination, pushing him to explore new opportunities and hone his craft further. Passionate about preserving the arts, Randell established the National Actors Theater in 1991, fostering emerging talent and promoting classic works. Even after his passing in 2004, his legacy continues to inspire aspiring artists around the globe. Tony Randall's story serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of creativity and perseverance. His life exemplifies how one can overcome adversity, innovate relentlessly, and create something truly extraordinary against all odds. Indeed, we are reminded that every step taken towards our dreams, regardless of size or significance, contributes to etching our own indelible marks in the annals of history. Let's take a moment to remember the talented Tony Randall. Born on February 26, 1920, he left his mark on the entertainment industry through his work in film, television, and theater. His career spanned over five decades, showcasing his range and adaptability as an actor. Randall was known for his roles in classic films like Pillow Talk and The Mating Game, where he brought wit and charm to every character he played. However, it was his role as Felix Unger in the hit TV series The Odd Couple that truly endeared him to audiences. Through these performances, he demonstrated his comedic prowess and established himself as a beloved figure in American pop culture. Beyond acting, Tony Randall was also passionate about arts education. He founded the National Actors Theater in New York City, which aimed to bring high-quality productions of classical plays to broader audiences. This organization served as a testament to his dedication to fostering appreciation for the performing arts. Now, we invite you to share your favorite memories or impressions of Tony Randall's work and legacy in the comments below. We encourage you to engage with fellow viewers by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content dedicated to the remarkable individuals who have shaped our entertainment landscape. Your participation helps keep these conversations alive and